Right, hello everyone. We're out in the woods, making the most of it. Um, right, what's happening? Um, there may be a couple of videos. I don't know when I've done about three videos. Uh, this is the third one. And I don't know what order I'm going to put them out in because they're all done within quite a, sort of within a few weeks. Um, but on this one, um, I wanted to try something a little bit different um, in a way of what I wanted to do, uh, test out. And sometimes when I do a, a kit, I like to try it out first, see if it works, you know, just a combination of stuff. So you see the, the big pack. Well, this is the, I think it's called, um, the, it's the US Assault Pack 2. And um, it's a pretty big pack and I've loaded it out quite a lot. It's really heavy. But I tell you something, it must be one of the most comfortable rucksacks I've, well, I've put on because I don't hardly feel the weight at all. When you pick it up, it feels heavy. When you get it on your shoulders, it's really comfortable. You don't know you've got that weight on you. Um, but I've loaded it out. You know, you're not going to do 10 miles of this. Well, I'm not anyway. You know, I'm literally guys that do 10, 20 miles easy enough, but yeah, I'm not that fit. But for what I want and for coming into the woods, which generally what I do, you know, um, a few miles is all right and that can do that easy enough and i've got four kilos of water in there four liters of water and um a complete you know set up for overnight so what i thought for, for something different in the video i'm gonna set it all up and um, tinker around with it and i thought i'd bring you along with me uh, i'm not doing it overnight i wish i could but i can't um i've uh, got things to do and it's father's day tomorrow but um i thought we would set it up all the components, see what it looks like, and um, also we'll cook up some uh, damper bread. Um, I'll be mucking around with that in one of the videos that might be before or after this. I was I had a little dabble with it and it came out all right, and um, so I thought we'd give that a go. So I'm just going to have a cup of tea, sit here for a minute, take in the surroundings, and then what we'll do, we'll go through the pack and we'll start setting up for an overnight out. This could be interesting to you guys, maybe not something I like to muck around with and do anyway and it's just testing kit for when I do go out because I'm planning a couple of overnights coming up um, I'm just this is a good way of muck around and to be honest I haven't done um, an overnight, overnight backpacking camp for uh, quite some time there not this year at all I don't think um, just been with work bigger meets um, with the car set up um, I've been doing that sort of thing so um, this is sort of uh, getting back into it, trying to get a few overnights in through the summer and into the winter. And I just want to muck around with the kit and see how it comes out. So, a bit of a long intro, but just sort of explaining what's happening. So, yeah, speak to you soon. Is what happens when you uh, I haven't used it, I'll think it's hooked in there. I just want to give myself loads of space, you know, it's, it's summer, it's hot, it's not like it's going to rain. It'd be nice if I can hook this up on a tree.
in one of the long bags. I've, I've been keeping my tools in there and some cordage. So, let's just crack into a bit of this. Let's just do this little extender knot. And that should do it for us. There we go, perfect. It's a really nice open space. Now, if it's winter time, I might change it around a bit and have it the other way, um, just so I can get a bit more internal coverage. But for a summer configuration, that's spot on. Just as a note, um, these are my food bags, but they're not food bags, but I'll just call them that, it could be anything. And like as you see, I had a tarp in that one, quite a big tarp, and it fit in there nicely. And in this one here, it which it works really well, is like a, a big puff jacket, not a down one, a synthetic one, and it worked really well for that. And you get two of them together, yet again with the modular system, they fit lovely next to each other. So I've got a damper mix, let me bring it up closer. That's better. Yeah, so this is what we're going to make. It's a damper mix and, uh, or damper bread, what you want to call it, I don't know, but um, we'll have a go at that again later. That'll be my third attempt. Just got some uh, maple syrup or whatever it is. Got the frying pan. Billy can. Food. Ration packs mainly. Toiletries, these are really good toiletry bags. The small zips. I like using them as toiletry bags. And then, uh, this is a waterproof um, jacket, you've seen it before. It's a Vento one that I made from the cell. It's a great summer thing. And then, Last of all, is um, all sort of thermals, backup clothes, socks, pants, wear sort of central things, hat, gloves. And they fit in there nicely. And you saw my cordage one over there. One axe. I'm not really going to use that today, I don't think. And a little possible's kit, which goes with. Fire kit, two small box patches, they fit together nice. Small first aid kit, and then I've got some eggs. Literally, uh, cake, chocolate cake, which I may have, I may not, depending, and another litre of water with the two litres or two quarts and uh, yeah, so I've got plenty of water and that's that, that's empty so I'll swing the pack around it's a big sleeping bag, it's two sleeping bags actually I could compress it even more but I like to, it to fill the gap up and that is just uh, an over quilt and a sleeping bag together and I can use that throughout the year actually Thermores Neo Air. One of these Thermores stuffed pillars, which I think are great if you can get hold of one. If you want a pillar, just put some clothes in that. Basically, at night, turn it inside out. It's fleeced. Put whatever you want in there, shut it up, and you've got yourself a pillar. It don't take up any space in your pack. 
think I'll get another one of them actually at some point. And being summer, I've only and it's bugs are around. This is what I'm going to use as my sort of bug net that protection. And it's a, and lovely made, quality wise, superb. And it's got four corners, which are upright corners. Um, the zip in the middle. What we do with sort of pin it out about here. It comes with its own pegs. Stone right where I want to be. So there we go, that's the bath tub itself and uh, And I think it's designed to have one, two, three. Actually, it could have gone back quite a bit, to be honest. I've got loads of space behind there. So what, what I'm going to do, I think, is just do a ridge line on it. I was in the middle of talking now. Realised I saw the camera just turned off. GoPro, for no reason at all, just turned off. Um, yeah, it would be nice to have a couple of bits to be able to roll up there, but that's me being a bit fussy. And that is really comfortable, that's a really comfortable pillar. And uh, I can sit up there. So there we go, just sort of kit tidied, sleeping bag and uh, rucksack would be over here. Never sleep in my clothes, either just normal t-shirt and your pants, um, but if it's colder, thermals. Off. There we go. Hope this is still filming because I'm not getting in and out again, but that's it really. It's good enough size for me. I'm 6'3 and I'm good. I could move in a bit so I was away from there, which I mostly would do. Just move myself over a few inches, but I've got enough space to move my arms around. This is not a review or anything of this one tiger thing. You know, I'm not. One time was, don't give me anything, this is something I purchased, just so you know. Don't want people thinking I'm promoting their products because I don't. But I don't mind showing people products that I find it worthy, which I think this is. So I most believe this is just testing it out for the next camp. Right, let's get some lunch on the go. Just had a bit of a downpour, but uh, we're all right now. Um, yeah, completely just rained. So what we're going to do? Um, I want to make this damper bread. So I've got this MSR Big Titan uh, Billy Can, but you can use any one. Um, and inside that, we've got a one, one of Rough Timbers uh, trays that go inside there. He's got various different sizes, so you really have to work out. He's got a sort of a, a size grade on them. And actually a couple of these little baking tins that he gave me as well. So, um, but I think he sells, he sells these now. 
these are some old ones he got from a charity shop, but he actually sells them. And the point of it, the way it's going to work is that we've got our feet there. We're going to put this on there. And hopefully it's going to sit on there without rolling off yet. And then put the tray in and two little tins with the lid. And we sit on there, get their legs right, and we create a little oven. So that's the plan. So, first off, let's put some okay. The mix is, I like to keep it in one of these 500 ml Nalgene bottles because you can get two out of this. I'm gonna, there's a smoke coming off that already, good. So we're gonna sort of guess how much we put in there. Might... That's, a, that's about a half you, so whatever it would be, it would be. Uh, water. Use this. Now with damper bread, it's nothing like doing normal bread. You know, there's no. So with damper bread, there's none of this proved in it or proving it, anything like that. Um, you don't have to let it rest. A bit like bannock, really, but maybe the cake form of of bannock. Now I do find a wooden spoon always seems to work best. Right, we're there, we're getting to a point where we can knead it a bit. Don't want to knead it too much because this has got self-raising flour and um, sugar and powdered milk in it, and that's it. So I think we're right now. And you can see the pan, it's almost all dried out now. Right, so we get this and what we want to do is just break it off. Shall I put a bit of oil in there? It's like when you're trying to film at the same time. Right, it's okay. So, let's put the lid on. Try that on top of there. Level it up, and we just leave that now. That was filming, taking pictures. It's, it's quite hard sometimes, but um, we just leave that on there for 20 minutes. I would say your time is 25 past. Give it 25 minutes, and then we'll have a look. Now, so that's been in there for about 25 minutes. I think it's run out of fuel actually. So what we'll do, we'll give it a go, have a look inside it and uh, hopefully they're cooked. Yeah, there weren't loads of fuel in there. I think they're actually done. See they've risen nicely. Be nice if they're a bit browner on top, but there's still heat in there, so I think I'm gonna let them sit there still. Just 
Here you see them. Great. Too hot. Right. Putting that oil in did help stop it from sticking. It never got to a point where it was. There you go, look. To be honest, I should take them out of there now because they start sweating a bit. bit of sweet flavour, that's why I ain't got no salt. Eggs can be rather boring. Oh. Bacon, a bit of damper. Here we go with this. So this is I've, it's in black, but I normally do it in green. And they just work, work really well for this jacket, which is quite a puffy jacket. And it's sort of down, so you're not going to destroy it. And just push it down like that. Quite a neat package. Not a bad, not a little bad system, that. And that was all quite quickly. Once the tarp's in there, just give it a shove down. Do the old dry bag, push the air out. Put 
uh, there we go, it's quite a smallish package. Oh, I'm loving this chair. I was actually considering to see if I can make, well, I could make it, but reasonably priced, so um, you know, other people could test them out. I know there's people out there making them. Um, but I like this one because it's made of canvas. I was just wondering how, canvas is the expensive material, so it's not something cheap that you can just knock up and sell cheap because of the cost of the canvas. Um, but it'd be nice if I could because uh, it's really, really nice. Even if you was have a, like a, a site where you regularly go back to and you can set up something like this. Um, so you just turn up, literally takes a second to put on and done. Eddie does it all the time. Um, he's always got his sort of set up, so he just puts his chair in and done. Uh, so yeah, maybe, he might be able to. Um, but yeah, so I've done a few videos lately um, where normally I don't bring the camera out. I've been a really good way I've gone home, put the camera on charge straight away because my biggest problem is I go home, forget to put the camera on charge, then I go out, it's not ready to go. So I've been making the camera ready to go. So I was just basically bringing you along and you can see some of the things I do. So I was just looking at the bird over there. Um, some of the things I get up to is I like testing and muck around with things, I, you know. Um, it's the fun of it really. Um, not really much in a way of woodwork carving stuff, I ain't done that recently, but just other bits I've been testing out, a bit of baking and stuff like that, and uh, you know, a bit of, like an overnight kit, this, this one, um, and the other two videos. Um, there's a Frostrua pack I've just recently got, and I've just been mucking around with a modular system for that, um, what works best, and uh, so yeah, so there's there's um this is I brought you along really see what you think you know a bit of interest and uh, yeah but I'm gonna sit here I'm gonna have my number tea <laughs> I think it's the third tea I've had today um, but I've drunk plenty of water near enough done that obviously it's, it's humid out and um, you, can, you can sweat a lot so drinking water is essential we had rain earlier for literally about ten minutes it was raining. But yeah. It's a bit like the Philby pack and the Australian. Very wide, a bit shorter. But I really like it. It's a really, really nice pack. Amazingly comfortable. Maybe I was just exaggerating with the, <laughs> the amount in how heavy it was. Maybe it weren't that heavy, I don't know. But it was really comfortable. And there was four litres of water and I got the big axe and you can see the whole setup was in there. The only thing I was missing uh, was uh, lights really and I'd just bring out a light with a charger on it and uh, that would do the job. Um, that's it really, I think about everything. I might have bought a bit of extra food, definitely. A couple bits of steak, some steak or something uh, if I stay in the night. But yeah, no, it works really well, I like it.